This is Salamancer, and today we are going to watch the entire Canadian military battle it out. The whole thing, you heard it right. The entire... just kidding. But this is the Battle of the States, actually. If you guys have not heard about that, it is uh, kind of an off-season tournament going on based on the regional affiliation of these TF2 players. Uh, this particular battle is Team British Columbia Quebec 1 versus Team British Columbia Quebec 2. They had two teams for that region area thing. And uh, Team 1, of course, you guys can kind of see what's going on here in the background. I do want to go off the players real quick because these are not normal teams. Uh, team 1, <laughs> there's a couple players who tagged up kind of weirdly. It does include um, Killing, who is an ESEA admin, and a couple other players there. I, I honestly don't know who most of them are. Team 2, I believe, is the one with Blaze, Lucrative, Dr. Badfish, uh, I know I've heard those names, and Zigster. He was the guy who sent it to me, but I'm not actually sure who wins. Right now, though, Team 2, a.k.a. the Vancouver Riots team, is uh, looking like they are doing pretty solid. They've got a big uber advantage, and of course, they're, ooh, Zigster doing some nice jumps there. They are in a nice position to push forward, so pretty soon we're going to see here on CP Snakewater the push coming straight in through the left-hand side as the attackers see it. And they're pushing the medic all the way back into spawn. They're not actually getting the kill yet, but these doors are staying open. Killing does go down as the sniper. Oh, nice sticky trap there, but I think this is going to be the capture as not enough players are in position. There you go. To stop that. So already the Vancouver Riots are off to a great start here in the Battle of the States. Uh, apologize, but I don't actually know what part of the tournament this is from. It has been going on for quite a long while. So, uh... Do bear with me here. This is, if you want to see, I think there might be some tournament brackets over on natf2.com. Go check that out. There's a big five page thread called Battle of the States. Uh, anyway, we're going to watch the Zigster roll here as he decides to jump up the right hand side. He's a little bit late to mid compared to everybody else, but that is perfectly fine. Does take a bit of damage, and it looks like eh, I think our blue team is in a little bit of a worse position right now, but no, actually, they are pushing back red, and a lot of spam could come down to this very, very quickly. Riots needs to get out of there, but uh, looks like the medic is actually perfectly safe, so I'm kind of surprised by that. This soldier, though, <laughs> oh no, Blaze decided to stay in a little bit too long and just got juggled all to hell, so it so looks like Team 22D, 22D, I don't know, British Columbia 2 is uh, winning this mid-fight, but they don't get the same advantage that the Riots did last round, and no Titan, you can't actually hop onto that box. No, it doesn't work, man. Sorry. He's going to try to get his me. Okay, no. But no, you, you can't. You can't even crouch jump onto it. It's just barely too high, which frustrates me to no end as a medic playing on this map because I'm always like, I want to jump on the box. Uh, but you can't. So Titan is going to be laying probably, well, I was hoping he was going to lay some sticky traps, but so far he's just not doing anything of the sort. This team, uh, their demos apparently don't like to lay sticky traps, I guess. Right now we do have Blaze playing pocket. He has been an invite before as a scout, but I mean, he's a, he's a very solid player, so wouldn't be surprised if Riots take this just because they have him on the team, and a couple of other good ones too. I don't recognize most of the players on blue because I think a lot of them have actually uh, changed their names. Dr. Badfish, I do recognize. I'll, I'll give you that one. But that's on them, so. Scout, though, coming in on Zigster, and he does a pretty good job. It's just that Lucrative is going big right now. The Ubers are both popped, and that looks like, is that Blaze? Yes, getting a little bit out of position. He was going for the health kit, but, uh, you know, the Soldier is not quite as fast as the Scout plays. You can't just sneak in like that, expect to grab a kit and get away from a Demo Man when you're playing Soldier. Especially an Invincible Demo Man. Those are, those are the scariest kind of Demo Man. So, Riot's losing their Demo Man now, and the Medic's actually having to back away, so it looked like they wanted to get out and cap the middle point after that Uber exchange, but it is a little bit too late now. Their Demo's down, and everybody from the blue team is back up 2-2-D, which isn't really 2-2-D, but I guess it's close enough. Wants to send their scouts off to the right-hand side as their Medic pushes in left, which is also called the Window Room. And he's doing just that. They're actually getting really aggressive here with no Uber right now, but they can afford it because the red team is actually backing really far off, and their medic's taking a little bit of spam here too. So there you go, the second point is captured. Now Riots have to back all the way up to their last. We are going to see them set up the typical last point defense. Both their scouts are down, so I wouldn't ex you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they came up on Sniper, Heavy, Engineer. Who knows? Pyro, probably not the best choice, but Blaze takes down Killing. Probably kind of lolling at him. Um, I've seen, oh no, what's Dastardly doing out here? Dropping an Uber is the answer, and Blaze now just going for, uh, going for some... 
equalizer play back out here, but the uh, the blue team makes the right choice to just uh, completely avoid and ignore him while killing was that killing took now his open level player. Uh, came out and, and took him down, and open level player could do some pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Helps finish off the capture. And that was Pokemon champion Cold Medic with one of the kills on those scouts to help get that cap on the point as well. It was a very good round out of the blue team. BCQ1, or I'm sorry, BCQ2. And it is now tied up between the Riots and Team 2. I don't even know what to call them. 22nd? 22D? I, it doesn't matter. But uh, one thing I did not know before the end of this game is apparently killing is Canadian. So, uh, all you fans of Canada out there, this is the game for you, I gotta tell you. And yes, Blaze is definitely Canadian. He is, I believe he's from Vancouver. Possibly. Uh, Lucrative going for some hits here, not hitting him yet. Open level players now, but so is Ziggs just they've exchanged soldiers. Now, there's a lot better positioning here from Riots right now, but they've got to be really careful. They are taking way too much damage on that point. The reason I say there's better positioning is that they are closer to the point they have that high ground. As long as their opponents are standing down in this valley, you know, rollers can roll into them at weird angles and it gets kind of like a pain in the ass. But, uh, oh, the medic is in some trouble right now. He is backing off with the regular syringe gun and gets popped up into the air. Beautiful surf, though. Just barely got away from him. What is he doing, though? Get out of that hallway, Dastardly. There you go. So the mid-fight is over. Doc Dastardly somehow... Somehow got away from that soldier, and that is one for the record books right there. But uh, the riots have held on to their Uber, so they could stop this cap on the point. They are going to want to force the pop out of Pokemon Champion Cole, and they have done that. Now the red medic has gone in to try and uh, save the point as well with his own Uber, but he's going to be in trouble. Emerge going to come in to get the kill, and I think he did on Doc Dastardly. And now we've got uh, the riots losing multiple players. They only have two scouts left alive. Oafmeal is behind enemy lines. This is not where you want to be when your last point is vulnerable. Killing is going to go straight in for it. Oh, but he kind of screws up the rocket jump there, and the scout is going to take him out. And there is a uh, scout standing on the point, though, and a lot of sticky bombs going on that point as well. I kind of like that play. Problem is, that scout, Oafmeal, managed to come around from behind, take out Titan, and so that's going to save the point for now for the riots. Just barely! Just barely, but they will get their uh, pitchforks and torches together, and they will be right back to rioting in no time. Oh, Dr. Asterly is taken out by killing, though. He was on the sniper, completely missed that, my apologies. But there is going to be a scout going for the back half, and Blaze once again caught that little corner. He just needs to stay out of there. Emmerich is uh, somehow managing to not get shot. Too much, anyway. And so he. Wow, he's actually staying alive quite well at the moment. Managed to get away with that. I don't think he got any extra kills, but at least he didn't die, and so he can help his team push forward once again. Jesus, who apparently liked to smile like a kitty when he was still alive, uh, is helping to capture the second point now. And the Riots are once again going to have to fall back to their last. They did not defend very well in the last round. This round, they just barely held on to it. They are going to keep Blaze at 300, and Killing is no longer on the sniper, so they will have a full complement of cookie cutter classes rushing into that last point very soon. And the question here is, where does the medic like to hang out on the red? We haven't seen it moment. Okay, he is going to stay over on this left-hand side. This is going to cause his opponents to have to take a very long route to get to him. And he's actually running the crits right now. They almost have it, and they are not pushing forward, but they need to do that because they actually have a bit of an advantage here. And if they push with this, they could take down the Medic, uh, but they aren't. Oh, no, no, they are! There you go! They got the, the Crits Creek on Lucrative, and they've taken down the Soldier, but they have not taken down the Medic yet. Going for the kills through this, but it, Blind Sticky is not going to work very well. So, oh, Pokemon Champion Cole needs to... Uh, I don't even know. I was going to make a Pokemon joke, but uh, too late. Too late. He does have an Uber almost ready to go. He managed to get away from that Crits just fine. So he will be uh, pushing forward with killing pretty soon. Killing, go! I choose you. And so, there we go. We got it. And uh, he will be pushing killing forward very soon with his Uber. They don't have to worry about a crits any time in the near future. I don't know, Doc may, considering how long it's going to start building up again, he might have actually changed, but it's too late. The Uber's going to come in, and Riots are just in no position. He did. He actually changed. I don't think he died, but he changed, all right. Uh, nonetheless, no, it's not going to matter. There is too many people capturing the point right now. There's a scout trying valiantly to stop this. Oh, and somehow they just barely managed to hold on to it. Oh, what? 
Wow, so Doc Dastardly got a kill there with the needles. That was some intense action right there. We didn't even catch everything, but what happened essentially was uh, the blue team pushed in, popped their uber, didn't get enough kills, stood on the point, and uh, ended up just all getting completely wiped out by the incredible spam coming out of the riots. So they held on to that with the skin of their teeth, and now... Where does that crazy thing come from? Your teeth don't have skin. They're made of enamel. Anyway, no, now the Riots have captured their second point, so they're not in danger of losing this round anymore. And Zigster, oh, he ate a big rock there. He's going to go for the Medic, but he might have done a little bit of damage there. It's just that uh, Cole here is going to be A-OK. -okay. He needs to maybe visit Pokemon Center. But other than that, the blue team... It's going to be just fine for another push, and this time around it is 6v3. It is very unlikely the Riots will hold this one off. They are going to get a couple of respawns here pretty soon. Zigster did just respawn, and a couple of the blue players are looking pretty hurt right now. They need to get the kills. There they go. They have taken out Dr. Badfish. Uh, but the Riots are once again getting a couple of nice kills on them. Can they hold off this point? The Uber is just now finishing. There's a bunch of blue players there on the point once again, trying to lay down some sticks so that they can secure the position and whoa nice kill by Titan to take down Zigster. Yeah, that's gonna be the round. Good try by Doc Dastardly, but just not quite enough. So now our blue team is gonna be pushing forward towards the small point. Now I wonder how they're playing this. I actually don't know the rules and they're probably playing with ESEA rules. That is my guess. They're playing with like ESEA configs. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Funny thing about the, uh, I want to see how they do this. Well, I'll see next rollout. The funny thing about using the equalizer rollout on Snake Water, it's such a short map, you don't actually always get crit heals by the end of it. And if you're trying to walk out there, you take a lot of damage, it just doesn't work very well. Zigster jumps in, goes for the medic, doesn't manage to get a lot of damage done, though. So the teams have traded a soldier now. Lucrative is standing on the point here, and he's doing a pretty good job of spam. Taking just a few hits himself, but he is, oh, he's going to get a couple nice shots off. Takes down the enemy demo man with a good pipe. And now he just has to reload a couple sticks, and he will be able to chase out the rest of the blue team. Oh, he might even kill quite a few of them right before blue pops their uber, and that was not a well-advised pop. Usually, if even if you're going to get an uber like that after a mid-fight, you just want to save it for the second. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, they did force the uber out of Doc Dash release, one, so that is going to mean that both teams have about the same percentage. And uh, the spectators are all joining in the chat as well. There are a few spectators, in case you didn't see on that uh, tab screen. There are a few people watching, because these are not like the world's most serious business games. I'm not even sure if they're playing for actual money. I'd have to go check the thread later on. But they're definitely playing for state pride. So the riots are moving forward, coming to a town near you pretty soon. And uh, we're not entirely sure what they're rioting about, but by golly, they mean business. Because they are about to have an Uber charge. Man, can you imagine, like, an actual riot having an Uber charge in real life? You know, the, the cops are all, like, trying to, to push the police line forward with the riot line, and you're just like, nope, we got a crits! And they're all like, oh, crap! Uh, okay, anyway. I think we're done thinking about cops exploding into Gibbs because of crit rockets now. That is not American. You should be ashamed. Riots do have an Uber. Pushing through here is tough, though. They know that there is a sniper. If they can get on top of that sniper, if they can spot him out and have a soldier jump into him immediately, then they'll have a player advantage right away. But if they can't spot him out, then pushing into a sniper is a very, very risky proposition. You know you're going to lose at least one player to a headshot most of the time, so killing is going to be pretty much camping at the moment. He doesn't need to worry about it because nobody really knows where he is right now, and as soon as... <laughs> uh, this is not StarCraft. <laughs> okay, well, oh, he almost got the Medicare. Actually, killing is standing pretty far back, so he will be able to uh, stay alive for quite a while. Doesn't even need to worry about it very much. Spot out. Oh, he knows where the enemy medic is. He's just going to keep walking around here. Kind of actually getting pressured by the scouts to the left hand side, but Blaze is taken down. What is. Okay, no, he is playing soldier. Um, and killing, yeah, he's still up, but he's now feeling a lot of pressure. And so this was actually a really good push by Riots. They managed to sneak most of their combo, uh, their, their medic and all their heavy classes, over into that corner there without having to pop their Uber. They got past killing, which was a, a really lucky move. I gotta say, that was a very, very lucky play that killing didn't make his shot there. But since he didn't, 
they managed to sneak their scouts in, forcing Killing to try and go for that. So that, that really worked well to have the scouts go after Killing because he just wasn't paying attention at all. And now the Riots are in a position to try and take this. Got a demo on the point right now. Nobody really able to stop him except one lone demo man. And there you go. The rest of the team does come in now. Looks like the Riots are in some trouble, but they are getting a lot of kills. Two soldiers left against a soldier and a demo. And oh, nice kills. That is going to be it for that round. It is now tied up 2-2. Two two. And my apologies, the allergies are still acting up. I probably need to get my apartment cleaned up. Maybe. I don't know. But the Riots have brought that back in a pretty interesting fashion. And we're still on the Ziggs to roll out, but I want to see, actually, hang on. Hang on. Oh, I missed it. It's too late. Uh, you do see Blaze getting the heals right now, so he was pretty much at quick heals territory. Zigster had about 220 health going out there, so it's pretty important to pay attention to what the soldier's health is at as they go into these mid-fights, because that determines how likely they are to jump up. Blaze going to go for a kit and realize it's not there. Nobody actually called out that they took it, so he just wastes a little bit of time there. And now, once again, the 22D team is pushing forward. They've lost their med, but they will be able to take mid with all the spam that they are doing. The problem is that they have a very big health disadvantage right now. You look at the riots, and they could actually push back in if they wanted to. It's 4v4. And yeah, they're doing exactly what you want to do in this situation. Take some chip damage. Use your scouts to just pistol away. Try and spam whenever possible. Now the, the medic is back up, but Titan's down, and here goes an uber. So the riots are really wanting to get aggressive with this, which they totally can because they've got a big player advantage now. Two players down for 2-2-D. Two, two and so I think we're going to see some uh, some British Columbia Quebec pride on the line here. Blaze, oh, Blaze got taken down. Didn't see where that was. It looks like he may have been trying to get a little aggressive. Zigster's actually way behind the enemy team, and there is a lot of chaos going on right now as, yeah, the entire blue team is getting pressured by a lot of people from all over the place. Now, uh, Titan's doing a really good job of holding down the point for a little while, and there goes Killing. He's going to try and jump in as a soldier to stop this, but lucrative, defending the medic very effectively. I wish I had seen his point of view because he's doing a pretty good job, but whatever. If we missed an air shot, we missed an air shot. Oh, well. Uh, Titan is going to have to get back on this last point, lay some stickies down. And they probably want to start laying stickies at the doorway as well. Uh, currently not doing that. Okay. It's not always a, a terrible idea to just have eight sticks on the point, because then if anybody tries to go for it, of course, there are six of them. But having stickies above the door is always a helpful thing, too, because uh, you can you never know when you're going to force your enemies through or when they're going to have to... Whatever. Point is, Pokemon Champion Cole just died. So this Uber has already done its purpose, but... The rest of the red team is going to stay in now. They're trying to get the kills, and they've got a scout standing on the point, completely uncontested. So now the Riots are up 3-2. to two. Okay, so I want to watch the Medic roll. Let's, let's watch who he heals on the way out here on Snakewater, because that's a pretty important thing. He's going to get one of the scouts up, get the other scout up, and now he's going to just start sticking straight on the soldier. And you can see this is uh, this soldier here is actually Zigster. So Zigster's going to go out there with a 250 or so, 230 over here. He's taking a jump. And as soon as Doc saw Blaze and was able to get the beam on him, he got the beam on Blaze. That's an important thing to do there on Snakewater. I'm actually taking notes here as well, so when I play Pug on Snakewater, I will uh, not get it wrong. And there you go. That's going to be lucrative. Knocking out Emmerich and Titan. He's doing some crazy stuff, and we just saw Padfish with the kill on the Medic. So open level player, the only one left alive, and he might have actually been a respawn for his team. But, uh, yeah, the, the rollout for Snake Water is a little interesting because unlike a granary where you have a lot of time to stay on your soldiers and get them both up to 300 before you get to the midpoint, you don't have all that time on this map. And if you do get all of your soldiers up to 300, let's still jump in here, but not going to do anything. By the way, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, there's a lot of crazy fighting going on here. The Uber was forced there. I forget where I was now. Uh... No, you don't have enough time, and so if you don't want to heal up your scouts, then you probably could get both your soldiers to 300 as they jump into the mid, but then your scouts are going to be feeling a little bit uh, flimsy, so it's always good to heal those scouts up, get them overhealed on the way out there. And Badfish is going to try and put some pressure on the points again. Nice kill on the Demo Man, and that is going to be 4-2 to two now in favor of the Van Riots. So can our PC team pull this back. I don't know, guys. Um, it's going to be tough. We'll see which way Emmerich decides to go out here because he's been 
playing a pretty good game so far. Absolutely has. Look at those points. Pretty even game so far from both teams. And MRH is going to take the high ground, which means that if his opposing soldiers decide to jump up here, they're going to have a little bit to deal with. Looks like he's getting a couple nice shots off on that scout, and he does take down Dr. Badfish in a very convincing fashion. Got a lot of health left here, but now uh, he spots the demo. Going to try and do some good damage there, but it sounds like his own medic has died. And they are taking down players, but it's just the two scouts left against a medic demo combo. And they know that if they can't get this medic killed, then they're going to have a serious uber disadvantage. They're trying to chase him down, maybe force the uber out of him if they possibly can, but he's just grabbed the health kit that's back around behind that corner. So he is back at 150 health. Emmerich trying to just stop the point, because at this point, if they can delay the capture for a little while, then that's going to mean there won't be an uber coming into the last. Emmerich is going to die here. But he managed to delay that point for long enough that, look, Champion Cole is already up to 33% Uber. And Blaze jumping in here to help cap, cap with the rest of his team. But, uh, yeah, that means Cole is going to have an Uber in time for last. So those scouts did exactly what they needed to do there. They didn't kill the medic, but they at least delayed for long enough that there won't be a crazy Uber push into last. So now Blaze is trying to knock out this soldier here, but no killing. Manages to take him out and then dies to a couple of sticky bombs. I think maybe they were trying to go for a force on the medic, but that just wasn't going to happen. Nonetheless, Pokemon Champion Cole has a 100% Uber, and let me tell you, it is super effective. So the uh, Ubers are both down now, and they're fighting over the second point, which is not really where you usually see that happen when uh, one team gets an Uber and the other team doesn't. But, <laughs> jog up another one with the soundboard. But it looks like the Riots should be able to take this. They are getting a nice little jump in here, but that medic is not long for this world. And the demo here, a lot of damage down on him, but he gets the bottle kill on open level player. So lucrative now, trying to help uh, defend that. And I don't know if they play first to five. We will find out very shortly, I think, because uh, okay, Jesus is now on the heavy. And uh, instead of turning water into wine, I think he's going to be turning babies into dead. If that makes any sense. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty standard position for the heavy, kind of standing up here. He's actually standing right up next to the wall. Probably not the best idea. Ooh, sorry. Because he can take a lot of splash damage from rockets hitting that wall. Maybe want to walk a little bit further forward so he doesn't take all that much splash damage from the wall. But nonetheless, it's a pretty standard thing to do, stand back there. And now we get to see what the riots uh, decide. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The riots are on defense. Ha! No, they're on offense. Okay, yeah. Blaze is on the heavy as well. Wow, I'm confused. Yeah, so the Riot's uh, in a pretty good position right now. There are seven and a half minutes left to go, and this is the kind of thing where they could just, you know, if they wanted to, like, really secure a win, the Riot's could have just stood there. But instead, they are going for the kills. Jesus and Titan both down, and uh, now the Uber is finally popped for Pokemon Champion Cole, but it is too late to do that. There's five players left alive for the Riot's, and the blue team, I mean, they didn't even get any damage out of that. So that's going to be it there. G, G, everyone. That is a beautiful game, and it shows which team won the British Columbia Quebec uh, Regional Battle of the States. That means that the Riots are going to go on to whatever next round it is in the tournament. And I don't have all the STV demos from that. I totally wish I did. But nonetheless, these are some awesome games. And so you should probably go check out that thread on NATF2.com. Root for your favorite region of North America. And, uh, of course, hit subscribe to youtube.com slash fatmop because I do produce all kinds of these videos all the time. So, stay tuned.